good talk with my wife yesterday, several of them. It's interesting how she's become more cavalier with um, life than I. We had a really interesting talk about uh, how the farmhouse we want to buy in Japan, wherever we wind up there, about how we don't want to spend money, undue money, on the uh, amenities. Or no, maybe not amenities, not the right word. Almost the necessities. You know, roof, foundation, those kinds of things. I mean, you know, she, and I'm just so surprised because it's almost like secret thoughts. It's almost like, it's almost like having nasty thoughts and keeping them to yourselves because you're worried nobody else has, you know, the others don't have them as well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that, but look, I made myself blush. Um, <laughs> goodness. Okay, like okay, here it is. So I would be the one that would that would think, you know, like ooh, the house that we want to buy. Sure, there might be foundation issues. Sure, the roof might be having problems. If it was just left up to me at this point in my life, I really don't give a damn. Like if the house starts leaking, I'll just move to a part of the house that's not leaking anymore. <laughs> as long as the roof's not about to fall in my head. And even if it is about to fall in my head, I just will stay away from the parts that it's about to fall under. Because, you know, this is the last act, right? Sure, I make it 20 years. I make it 30 years still. That's going to go like that. And, and all I need, and to sum it up, and I... I Express this to me yesterday. All I have to do is outlast. I, I just have to. I just need for the roof to outlast me. I don't give a damn what happens to it after that. You know, but what about the value for Emily? No one's going to care. These places we're buying in Japan, it's the real estate market as such. Um, anyway, she's got her own life too. And what it really boils down to is Yumiko and I don't want to spend these coming years. Um, like I have someone that I was talking to that's in his 90s now and he's very busy getting, he told me, getting his home ready for his death, getting it all perfect, which is just another distraction, I think. I mean, sure, he's doing that for his heirs, but his house is in such a place that, I mean, it's in such, he's kept it good in good shape all of his life. He's, it's it's another distraction. I don't want to be distracted by that stuff. Like I'm like this morning I'm reading Keats. That's the thing I was reading before that. And I found two in in this particular poem, which is called I Stood Tiptoe Upon a Little Hill. I found two bits in the poem that were extractable, just beautiful bits of the poem. And I, I had time to do the one and I just shared it on social media. I quoted that one. But I didn't have time for the second one because I knew I'd run out of time. I have to do this. I want to do this. And then I have a work day ahead of me. That's what I want to do. And I don't need much of a good roof ahead of me. I don't even need much of a roof at all. I think I've conveyed my point. And the beautiful thing is, Yumiko feels this way too, more so than me. I keep looking at that farmhouse that we're thinking about buying. I can't see a good close look at it, but I look at it on Google Earth and from the street view and from the real estate listing photos, trying to discern where the problems are. And Yumiko's more, who gives a damn than me? Just, we just buy it, we'll get started. And she's right. She's always right. Yumiko is always.